Hey guys, before we get into the video, I just want to talk about what's going on real quick. You may be wondering, like, why are we showing November footage in January? The reason is, is back in November, Grant and I hunted three days together, and we had some insane action. We really wanted to tell the full story of the hunt, and without telling you too much, if you watch this whole series, it's all going to come full circle as to why we were waiting. So we'll call this series four videos. There's going to be three hunts from November with Grant and I, and then there's going to be one hunt at a later date. And without giving too much away, we'll just leave the fourth video at that. It happened at a later date. These three videos are going to be action packed, tons of rut action. We had three awesome stocks in three days. And in between there, there was tons of other action. I was at full draw a, a number of times throughout these three hunts. And again, if you're watching this one, the first one, then you're gonna to wanna to make sure you watch all four from this series. It'll all make sense if you watch all the four videos, but I don't wanna give away too much right now. So with that being said, let's just jump right into it. Just took off running and there's a buck like 40 yards down there. He doesn't even know what we are at all. And he can just walk. Still down there? Oh, yeah, they're still right in there. Two does went that way. Two does went that way. And when he start, when they started going that way, he stood up like right there. And, and I'm just boating down this hill. I'm talking full sprint. Got to run like 40 yards. Dude, that was awesome. Did you feel that? Mm -hmm. That looked fast. We'll fix it in post. We'll fix it in post. Screw it. Oh, right there, right there. Do you see him? God, dude, that's that buck that we saw way down by the river. Golly. He made it a ways. You know which one I'm talking about? The one that almost crossed the river on us? Like two miles the other way. How smart of him. That's the same buck that Grant and I saw a long way from here. And that had been mid-October probably. I thought that was pretty cool, his move there. He like got right up to where I was gonna practice aiming at him. And he just went right back and stayed in the trees. That's what'll keep a youngster alive. I thought he was gonna just dumb right into the path. It's so funny that I sprinted down here and like, there's still another doe. Did you see the other deer up there just milling around? Nice one. Yeah. Last I saw him, he was way down there going that way. I think we might just kind of burn it down there. Dude, just walking down the path and Grant goes, hey. And I look up and I caught a glimpse of what looked like a tank going in front of us and he was, he's big. Man, I'm fired up now. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's go. Oh 
Two more shooters. Those are different ones? Yeah. Where'd you think you saw him go? He went right down that end. We're not gonna go far. I'm wondering if we don't go back to the car, get on the north side and come back in the other way. But we, our wind's not great for coming in this way. That's a big one though. That's him? No, it's not. That's the one that was with this wide one that jumped. Man, he's big. He's busted up. See, that's, that's where I was gonna go. It's up into there. This is a great place. It's wild. It always is. Glad we came in here. my issue all the bedding is over there or over there and our wind is blowing like this which isn't really great and we can't cut across that bottom because we'll just blow out everything over there which I mean we obviously need to just focus on this block over here there's another deep block big one big block Well, I see this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Looking left. Big dog. It's big dog status. Oh, yeah. It'd be nice if we see where it goes. Well, that's like three shooters already. Still got eyes on him. I'm just gonna try to keep eyes on him till. I mean, if he goes up and around that thing, we can literally just take off running right at him. Whoa! I mean, what do you do? It's like, yeah, overload for real. It's three o'clock and we got bucks crawling everywhere. It's getting freaky. Let's just work this edge like consistently fast, do you think? Like, I doubt he's gonna be up there looking back this way. Where'd you last see him? Right on that point? He was going, yeah, right out. He just had got behind all those oaks on the end. I, like, I, I, I want to kind of get moving, I think. Don't you think? I think we'll go after that one. That one. Tomorrow we can come observe this whole bottom. And... You think we're going to spook that big one right off that point? Walking this way, or you think we're good? I think it might be worth just trying it. I don't want him to get way over going back that way and lose him. Good. It looked like he was gonna hook around if he Yeah, like up. he was just gonna hug that contour and go over. All right, I just don't want that guy to run that way. I'd assume he's gonna, yeah, there you go. to have gone that way and we got a good win for it without taking all the time to go back to the car. I mean, really regardless, we need to be in this area tomorrow. I mean, we may learn if there's more deer over there too. I guess we just creep down this. Come on, we gotta go fast.
team. Maybe work this edge? I think so, it's better. Do you think we should move pretty quick? Yeah. Around here? This water's gonna help us. You got, you got good footage of him? I think we need to get down to that edge and we can always pop that decoy at him. I got my eyes on him through that tree. He's right in the hole of that tree. See that little square right there? About 15 foot up. He's right through there. Hey, that's a good job. Good job, Grant. Good intern. I can't believe this is a real moment. I can't believe this is real though. Like how is he doing that? That's real life. A buck's just bedding in like shin high grass. I think if I can get up high and then come straight down at him. Like basically if I can keep parallel on this hill and come straight in on him. Do you think that'll work? I mean I, either that or I can run right down that edge but then he's got that water. So it depends on if he's going to do that or not. I don't think he's going to hold pretty tight as long as that does. That's what I'm thinking. That's why I think if I go right at him. Doe is facing that way. She Isn't is? She? Yeah, I think they're both facing this way. Grant, thank you for telling me to go after this thing because yeah. I had to turn and went to the other one. This is the dream right here. It is. I mean, I think we got a really good shot at just coming right down at the head of that water. It's kind of where I'm going to go. So, as long as you can get up here about 10 more yards, I'd just stand up against one of these trees or whatever's best and just get real rock solid. Just keep your eyes on them. I'm going to try to get this thing ready. I think that looks good. Well, I don't know that there's any time to really talk anymore about it. Just got to do it. Hey. See you later. Get him, brother. Another buck behind him moving around. I 
think Zach's about to pop out of this tree line with that heads up. Just walk right at him. So I'm just gonna lock on these deer and film and just see what happens.
close, man. Just not quite. I, I messed up. I, I realized as I got up here, there's this driftwood and I couldn't get across the driftwood. What? Shouldn't, honestly, he should have been, he should be dead. That was a mistake. You learn from that, but what I didn't realize, I thought having the high ground would be a good idea and coming right at him, but then as soon as I got there, I was like, man, I can't do anything. Like, that's why I just sat there for so long. The doe was coming like she was gonna cut right across. Mm -hmm. She's gonna be 20 yards. And they stopped at like, he was at like 45 that whole time. It's just not worth trying to force anything, obviously. She bedded and that was the final straw. It's like, I gotta try to get the decoy back on. He kept looking over there at those other deer and I flipped it up. And when I flipped it up, he was like, and looked at it and turned immediately. And he even bristled up at one point. I snort nice, wheezed man. a bunch. And I was like, man, I don't think he's gonna do it though. Cause like, I think had I got down to here, he would have done it. I just, where I messed up, we should have just went straight down into the grass and just belly crawled when we had that high wind. So I regret that a lot actually. And that would have been really cool. But there at the end, I mean, he started going. I thought, well, what better time to just run into a bunch of deer, being a bunch of deer, than mm -hmm. like when all hell is breaking loose. I mean, bucks literally run and does everywhere out mm -hmm. there. And I just ran right into the middle of them. Nobody knew who I was. They were just like, who's this guy? I don't know. Let's run over here. Let's run over here. I, I got inside of 40 that last time. Like, he was 35. Mm -hmm. There was no shot there ever. But that's got to be some of the wildest footage ever. Yeah, let's see pretty wild day. We're gonna end up having to go back, look at maps, make a game plan. There's, you know, half a dozen or more shooters in here. Ought to get eyes on one tomorrow. Catch you guys in the morning. <laughs>